prayer channels God supply to our needs. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Philip Yancey. Philip's home sits along a creek in a canyon in the shadow of a large mountain. During the spring snowmelt and after heavy rains, this stream swells and acts more like a river than a creek. People have drowned in it. One day Philip traced the origin of the creek to its very source, a snowfield atop the mountain. From there, the melted snow begins the long journey down the mountain, joining other rivulets to take shape as the creek below his house. Philip continues, It occurs to me thinking about prayer that most of the time I get the direction wrong. I start downstream with my own concerns and bring them to God. I inform God as if God did not already know. I plead with God as if hoping to change God's mind and overcome divine reluctance. Instead, I should start upstream where the flow begins. When we shift direction, we realize that God already cares about our concerns, a loved one's cancer, a broken family, a rebellious teenager more than we do. Just as we're promised in Matthew 6, 8, our Father knows what we need. Grace like water descends to the lowest part. Streams of mercy flow. We begin with God and ask what part we can play in His work on earth. With this new starting point for prayer, our perceptions change. We look at nature and see the signature of the grand artist. We look at human beings and see individuals of eternal destiny made in God's image. Thanksgiving and praise surge up to Him as a natural response. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 through 10. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This, then, is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. That's today's scripture reading from Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 through 10. And now let's pray together. Dear Lord, we praise you for loving and caring for us so much. What would we ever do without you? Thank you, God, that we'll never have to find out. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our Daily Bread Ministries.